Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And welcome to the Grinder, which has definitely seen better days. Recently, this poor robot was modelling the lovely Halloween cosmetics, but today we, we've stripped it of that honour, and we're going to be making it useful again. We are I have decided I want it to be in Tier 5, or possibly Tier 4. No tier 5. The scrappling is going to be downgraded at a later stage to a tier 4 much smaller satellite. I've played a few games of it and quite frankly the design isn't the best in the world. A bit like the poor Helicarp at the moment. Speaking of which, uh, which isn't actually anything to do with that, I'm going to just turn down sound a tiny little bit just to make sure that the sound is okay. Okay, so what are we doing with the grinder then? I'm going to do something I many of you may have may be a bit surprised by. I'm going to be making a rail gun. Yes indeed, this is going to be a simple rail tank. Just for me to get the hangs of using a rail. I haven't been I haven't used a rail in honestly months. Probably months, yes, because I don't like rails. I'm not a huge fan of how they work, generally speaking. But I do feel that if I'm going to have a robot in every tier, I'm certainly going to need a rail of some description as well. Just to keep it interesting, I can't just keep having SMGs and plasmas everywhere. Well, it's more along the lines of SMGs, so plasmas and healers, but still. I don't know why, but look at that. Okay, let's see. Rail, rail, rail. We have a tier 8 rail. What will that take me up to? High tier 5, but that's okay if we skimp on the wheels, because this is quite high tier armor we've got going on. Hmm, maybe one higher though, so we have it like this. Don't worry, the design phase will be quite small today, I think, since it will be quite a simple robot. I don't have much tier points to spend, so it's going to be quite minimalistic in its design. The only problem I can think of here is that it's going to be so, so easy to get knocked off. Uh, I don't like that, that much. Hmm. Put those there, put that there, that there, and then have it like this, maybe. Yeah, that looks really weird. No, never mind, ignore it. I was just saying, let's say, yeah, that looks okay, and then I'll look at it properly. No, no, it doesn't. It kind of looks like a really demented, old-fashioned vintage car. Not the best. Um, we could possibly have it more like this. Yeah, okay, that, that, that looks a bit better. Plus, the blue armor's quite good for tier 5. In fact, it's very good for tier 5. It's actually tier 6, so it's one higher than what's usually available. So it's a bit cheesy, I admit. But we don't want this to be too, too vulnerable. And if we have the resources, we may as well use them. Plus, it makes it forces me not to have such a huge vehicle like I normally do, which is nice. We only have a couple of tier 4 wheels, and I would like to have more than 4 wheels, I must admit. But... Let's just see how this drives. So shove those in, like so. That looks very car-like, actually, in a very odd way. Um, I haven't actually deviated much from the old, from the Halloween style I had. I've simply changed how some of the blocks were orientated. Let's see now. Where's the what I'm looking for? There you go. Windshield. Can we put one at the front of it? Yes, we can. There we go. Have these. I'm not quite sure what's going on with these. I've never had the settings up that high. I think it might be a bit of a shadow bug or something, or maybe it's just how it is. I'm not sure. Normally I have low settings, so still getting used to the new computer and all its infinite glory. I need to have these here. As much as I'd love to have the blue armor, which would be far better for me, it just looks right, even if I can't actually see in front of me. I can assume maybe it's like a electric board, particularly with how bugged out it looks right now. Uh, we have a couple of tier 3 steering wheels, which I can't actually put in. Hmm. Could have them sticking out a little bit and just have them as like an extra pair. Yeah, okay, we can just do that. That looks not actually that bad. It doesn't look brilliant, I'm not going to say it looks good, but it certainly doesn't look as bad as it could be. It's a shame we have no yellow spare, or I was going to shove some yellow blocks in as well to help out the protection, but we can't. Let's just give this a quick test run. I have a feeling that I really should put some heavy blocks on the bottom, though. Just put one, maybe, at the middle. There. Okay. And let's have a quick test. If it works okay, we can go straight to a couple of games, and you can see how terrible my aim is. Another reason why I don't want to use rails, the embarrassment of YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. It's actually a lot smaller than I first thought it was. It looks kind of cool. It put, like, a bulbous nose on it. Okay, that handles okay, but I do have a feeling that that's going to flip as soon as it goes down any cliff at all. 
Let's see how powerful this thing is. This does, I think, 14,000 damage, so... Yep, that pretty much sums it up. Okay, I think it's good enough for me to test on. This is going to be my little tester vehicle for railguns. I'm sure I'll have something more epic in the future. Uh, honestly, I do think that my lovely Healy Walker may eventually end up being a railgun. I just do love rails in terms of walkers. It just seems right. Okay, good enough. Let's get into a proper match and hope we can actually hit a real robot. As soon as I jump off this cliff to see how bad it's... Oh god, yep, turning is... Wow, I bounce! I can't actually stay flipped because of how big the gun is. <laughs> okay, I've got to be careful with turning. I will design something better in the future. So, so, so far, Scrappling, Helicarp, and poor little Grinder here all need a better version in the future. Uh, we're still in the practice stages, so and so it's eventually, because it'll be the, the end, really, once I've got one in every single tier, so may as well hit the pumpkin in the eye. I mean, may as well take our time on it, you know? So back in a second when we're actually in a game. Welcome back, sir and sir. It's time to be the rail douche. Indeed, we are being the evil person this time. And let's hope we can actually kill someone. Otherwise, I'll be so embarrassed. Isn't that the flyer you can buy? Or is it a replica? It looks like a replica. There's been some changes on that. That's a cute rail. I like how, it, um, how it's uh, tilted. That should help it out quite a lot, actually. Well, let's follow him. I have no idea where good rail spots are on this map. In fact, I don't know where rail spots are in most maps. And that SMG seems a bit overzealous. I can hear someone taking damage. It's a bit early taking damage, isn't it? Oh, there's a rail over there. I think there's a rail in the sky. There's, and there's a rail coming around there. That, that, that's another thing I need to learn. Don't look everywhere if you can avoid looking in the eggs. Because I'll just tell you where you are. Oh, God. He's somewhere there in the air, but I have no idea where, so I'm not going to look up until I can actually see a bit where he is. Ooh. He's near the light. He's definitely near the light. Where is he? Oh, well, we have we have bigger concerns. Including this speedy fellow here. Got ya! First kill! Excellent, well done, Grinder. Now run away. I only have one rail. This is... Where is he? There he is. How did I miss? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, 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 Rail and SMG both after me and very angry at my existence. I can't blame them. I'm a bit of a horrible robot. Aha! We can shoot again. Damn. Ah! That did less damage than expected. I deserved that. I was pretty out in the open. Oh, you killed me. I thought the SMG killed me. Ah, darn. Okay, one kill. Um, we're getting the hang of it, maybe. Certainly need some more practice. Back in a sec. And welcome back again. Let's see if we can actually hit more than two robots this time. Maybe more than two shots fired. Who knows? Uh, okay, I know where I'm going. Oh, it's two places I want to go. I think I'll go to the safest option while I'm still being a learning sniper. What I need is a tutor. Okay then, sir, you go first. You're a healer. You are needed on the front lines. Oop, turning slowly. This robot definitely needs a redesign. Ooh, a flyer. My arch nemesis. Soon as I get to my sniping position, I'll actually aim at you slightly. Okay. Uh, and where is it? Oh, he's there in the clouds. Oh, and I missed completely my failure. And everything is sad in the world. But I have to wait this long for a reload. Maybe I'll go for two tier 7s rather than one tier 8. It just seems so slow. I want to shoot now. He's going to fire at me. He is definitely going to fire at me. Hello. Yes! One shot kill, though. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrendous. This gun is vile. I have gave in my humanity for Satan, and I've been given a shiny gun. Flyers will hate me. They will absolutely hate me. I know this because I hate people like me when I'm playing on flank. Twice now. I've. Also, how does my Q keep missing? I keep missing to spot him. Oh, definitely need more practice of aiming, though. Where is he? Okay, he's there still. Let's just hide behind this rocker, so I'm not a huge target. I think he might have lost some of his control. He seems a bit... Those movements aren't natural. Two kills. Lovely. I do love how I shoot it and just simply vanishes because how far it was away. Uh, is there anyone I can see here without getting spotted myself? Let's just edge forward. There's still several enemies out there. 
Oh no, our frontline guys have pretty much died. And you're losing health, where from? I can't see what's hurting you. I don't really want to move down there because how slow I am. Aha! A thing! Well, I plinked off his bow. Oh, that's actually quite a bit of damage. Okay. Let's get back again. These certainly don't make the most interesting matches for recording. Uh, be brutally honest, do you like railgun matches? Because I am going to have to have a lot of practice, so it depends on how much how many videos I should put out there. Oh dear, there's only three of us left. However, we are capping. Hopefully many of them are crippled. However, that fellow was actually coming towards us, I've just now realised. Ah, no, he's going to defend. An honourable chap he is. Sadly, I'm not honourable. Yep, I do think two tier 7s would probably do better than this single tier 8. It seems to do a lot of damage. Flyers should fear me, but the little guys down there, I simply cannot one-shot. Maybe I should be more selective or I shoot! Oh, that hurt. Oh, I would have hurt. Here seems to be wary. And he is now 6% health. Okay, he's pretty much killed. Just not actually killed. I am ready to jump down if the enemy comes near me because I can just bounce. I just don't want... To. You can do it! People over there, I believe in you. And I can be mean. I'm sorry, sir. Three kills for the little baby rail known as Grinder. Oh no, I'm the last person left standing. I've got to hope they go in a very, very open area. <laughs> oh dear. This is not the position I want to be in. I think if I go out there, I'm going to be killed. I know one of them is definitely an SMG. I don't know what the other two actually are. If I get caught out with the SMG, I will be destroyed. So I have to keep my eye out. And also make sure I don't look out past the cliff and give away where I am. Aha! Okay, took a bit of health off. I can hide again. I took 9% off. That is a very sturdy vehicle he's got. Let's just spot him so I know where he's going. As he comes up, I'll jump down. I think that's the plan. So, if he carries on past this area, I'll run to the enemy's base. I feel like such a coward. Or maybe I'll wait here, get a good shot off, and then run. Regardless, running is definitely what I'm going to... Oh, I have no radar jammers! I'm a moron! Well... Oh... Last stand. Here we go. If I can one-shot him, I think we could win this. Otherwise, oh no. Don't be hasty with shooting. If I'm hasty, I'll miss. If I miss, I'm definitely screwed. Okay, ready to fire when he comes in. If he ever comes in, I saw him move. There he is. Nope. He didn't get so close. Nope. Okay, he's won. Well done, sir. Flee! <laughs> oh dear, we've simply delayed the inevitable. There's no chance I'll be able to reload in time. However, I don't know where he is. Is he going the long way? Maybe he's one of those vehicles which fall easily. So flip easily. Can I actually aim there? Nope, so there's my limit, which is terrible because that means there's almost nowhere I can actually fire. Is he really just going to capture the base? I think he thinks we got away. Um, well, that went well, actually. Oh, there you go. There he is. Nope, he's managed to in inadvertently completely leave where I can fire. However, he has also flipped. So we're just going to stare at each other lovingly. <laughs> so I can move slightly. I think I may as well self-destruct at this stage, otherwise it's going to be a very long match. That went better than was expected. Still got three kills. Did quite a lot of damage to several robots, but ultimately didn't get the victory. That was a lot of RP, okay. Back again in another match. We're getting the hang of this, Stone Threads. Aim for a long time and try and figure out where the hell their seat is, otherwise I'm going to do nothing. Still very tempted to buy another tier 7 and have two tier 7s instead. Are they the same size? Yes, they are. Okay. So there's an issue there. We'd have to have a much bigger robot. How much does tier 7 actually give me? Uh, oh, much less. I could, I could get three tier 7s for the same price. Hmm. Curious. Okay. Back in a second, Stone Threat. And we are back in this match. In this uh, map, rather. But on the opposite side, which I certainly think is worse for snipers. Uh, let's hope we can do as well as last time. That was a very happy match. I was, I was, I was kind of smirking afterwards, like I killed people with the most douchey weapon available in the game. And by that, I don't mean the railgun. I mean the, the high tier of railgun I've brought to this tier. I am thinking about going down to tier seven purely for forum fairness reasons, if nothing else. 
Hopefully we can see a flyer. Flyers seem to make very easy prey because they're quite fragile. There we are. Ah, too fast. Ah, no, no chance. That dive was very nice and it's a very ambitious shot. It was worth taking though on the offshoot. I could have got him. Let's hide behind this rock. This rock is our best friend. Oh, so I think another rail may have got him. <laughs> There's someone over there. With really high tier SMG. That's gonna hit me. That's not. And boom. Got ya. Okay, one kill. Let's move backwards because there is a rail aiming at us. I'm not sure where from. Oh, it's a flying rail. I think it may have got took down. Its beam suddenly vanished. It's rather depressing to see. Oh. Oh. Got killed just after he shot. Our team's efficient at this. Oh, I tried to shoot then. I forgot I was still reloading. And I missed. I need to be less hasty. That's the problem. Because I'm so used to having plasmas and um, SMGs. I'd have seen something and just fire. Which is not the best. Oh, an interceptor. I always love watching interceptors. I need to make one at some stage. Oh, there he is still. Look. Ooh. I may have actually managed to dodge that then. Um, nope. No chance. We've been moving so fast. But our fellows here. He's quite a pretty plane as well, which is quite sad. I think I went to move up this time. I was a bit bored last time. We haven't lost we've like, lost one person. They've lost almost everyone. I think I might as well move up and try and get a bit of capping done. Let's just go this way. I also need a radar. I keep thinking after each match, I'm going to get a radar next. Then I forget. Where is he? There he is. Oh, you can't spot through solid objects. Lesson learned. Uh, where do I go to actually get a sh be able to shoot him? Oh well, my fellows managed to finish him off. There's one person left. I think I'll go and hunt for him rather than um, go and cap because I probably won't get there in time without me going there. I'm going to go and look at the ravine because the ravine tends to have people who. Oh no! He may actually be at their base. I may have made a, hu may have made a huge mistake, but the there is one good thing this robot can do. It can't stay permanently flipped. Oh, but it can get stuck in a crevice. <laughs> oh, I am so stupid. So, so stupid. Well, regardless, we won. <laughs> I was looking out because I think it said Plasma Bomber, so it was actually a flyer which was left. And 10,000 RP. Not bad at all. Okay, maybe a couple more matches. Hopefully... Matches seem to be a bit longer when you're a railgun than a flyer. I, I tend to find with like, kind of flyers, you either die instantly or survive till the end, but very rarely do you survive till the end. So back in a second for yet another match. And we are back on the cursed level. It's time to get no kills. I also have found one weird thing about this robot. I keep thinking that this is the front, because that to me seems right. I normally have the gun on the back, and it's kind of weirding me out. Where do you go on this map? Um, I'm thinking we just kind of hide on this ridge. Where have I been shot down from before? Well, I know that walkers go there, but obviously we aren't a walker. Um, is that a shield? An enemy shield? No, it's a pumpkin, okay. <laughs> oh, I excuse me, sir. What a weird design. That's cool. Okay, let's move up a bit further. I don't think we're going to get shot if we stay this far back. Oh, hello. Can I see him? Just about, yeah. Yeah, hey, I hit him for a load of damage. Okay, he's going down after that shot. Oh, no, maybe he's not. That's a very durable flyer, sir. Oh, we've been spotted. Aha, you missed because I moved slightly. Actually, I was falling. Where are you? There you are. Ow, ah, my gun is gone. Okay, yep, this is definitely the cursed map. Sorry, sir, I can't simply stand still because otherwise I will get shot and then we will both horribly die. If you can keep healing me until my gun's back, I'll be... No, 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 heal me, heal me. That's a good boy. That's it, keep on going. I know it looks like you're not healing me, but you definitely are. It's just that my gun has a lot of health. Damn, I missed... Oh, no, I actually got the spot. It just didn't make the noise. There we go, I've got a gun. And it needs to reload! No! Thank you, sir, for the heal. I do have chat off, so I can't thank you in chat, but still... Oh, nice shot. Oop! Oh no, you just returned to Mothership, okay. Oh, I thought someone shot you then, I was terrified. There's an enemy plasma somewhere down there, I can't see, oh. Well, perhaps it could have been, yes, we've got a kill. The cursed map isn't so cursed after all. 
Flyers Beware, the miniature grinder. The mini grinder, which, which, which is what I may uh, change its name to. In fact, I am actually thinking about changing its name completely because grinder just doesn't seem right for a railgun. Uh, the grinder started off life as a copy of the um, robot you can buy in the store, which has the... I think it has... SM does it have plasmas? I can't remember. The one with loads of wheels, the mean machine, that's what it's called, yes. Uh, there's one enemy left called XXX. No, sorry, quadruple X, not triple X. Um, no idea where he is, though. There's no one over there, so I assume he's over there somewhere. Almost everyone on our team is horribly mangled. No one's able to move. Oops. <laughs> I'd be far too distracted by the half floating person in front of us. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. See? We can't actually stand our back. There we go. Phew. Another nice match indeed. This has been a good day for railguns. I still feel a bit evil, but let's do let's do one more match. Uh, and yes, people, I do realise how overpowered this gun is, and I am feeling terrible for it, but sometimes you've got to be evil. I've got so many non over for instance, the Scrappling. This is probably the least powerful creature in existence, but I adore it and I'm not changing it. Well, I'm going to change it, just not in its function, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to make it more powerful, just maybe a little bit different. Na 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 Back grinder! Back in a second. And we are back for a last match of today, back on the cursed map. Can the curse finally defeat Mini Grinder? We'll find out. Most likely. I think we need to end this map, this um, this little episode on a failure, don't you? It's just the, just how I do things around here. Although I do hope there's a plan. I want at least one kill. One kill to me always makes me feel better and warm and fuzzy inside. Ah, excuse me, sir. Okay, it was definitely a rail flyer because that was coming up from quite high. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be, okay, that's definitely a flyer. Oh, if I could get... Oh, there's the rail. There he is. I can't see him because someone killed him. <laughs> that does make it hard to see someone when they vanish into thin air. Well, I did a lot of damage as front halves came off, but that's a very sturdy flyer. It's very weirdly designed. It's kind of like they've got a giant flat surface and gave it wings. 1%. Can the SMG hit the 1% robot? Oh, oh, 0%. I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, there's a, fly there's a SMG over there, but he's going to get battered up anyway, so he needs help. Could have got a kill, but I'd rather... Oh. oh, that was a good chance as well. Completely failed. Seems that our teams today have been really good, I've got to say. Other than that first match, our teams have been spectacular. Well done, team. I would give you a uh, well done if I had chat on. Speaking of which, there should be enemies behind us since all our teams went to the right. Oh, flipping. Thank you. <laughs> I love how this thing flips every time. <laughs> I've even kept those little horns on the back now because it does actually aid with the flipping. I'm being a bit too aggressive going this far forward, but that's fine. I, but there's no there's no one to shoot back there, and I was getting a little bit bored. Oh, can we get him? Maybe if we actually can stand and steal. Ah, oh, this why this why um, rail legs are so good. Walkers make such good rails because the walkers auto stabilize you. You don't have to make sure you've stopped before you can aim. Maybe we should just go and help them. What's his name? Rule. Excellent, hello, Rule. Oh, dead, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, what a boring match. At least I hit someone. I did hit a plane. I didn't kill them, but I did do a lot of damage. There's only one enemy left, so I doubt he's going to pose much of a threat against our team, but still. I will be lookout, so if we can see any movement. Oh. Oh, there he is. He's a rail. God, yes, we got a kill! <laughs> we got a kill! Wonderful. We ridded the world of another scummy rail like myself. Wonderful. However, he actually had multiple low tier ones, so it's less scummy. That was a good end. That was a very good end indeed. Well, Sir and Sirettes, I hope you've enjoyed the grinder. I think some mild modifications will happen. I will definitely go down to two tier sevens, or possibly three or for four tier sixes instead. I've never bought a tier six rail. Okay, let's do tier sixes. Plus, they're smaller as well, so I can actually fit them on. Um, I'd much rather have more shots as well. I I am loathing only having one shot at a time, even though it is so nice when it one shots something. So thank you for watching, Sir and Sweats. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you next time. If you could give me a like and a comment if you have enjoyed the video, it's very much appreciative. It really does mean the world and helps out the channel so much. Recently, we've been having, we've been having a bit of a growth spurt, and that is completely because of you, awesome people. 
liking and commenting, it all adds to the analytics. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Hope to see you next time.